Yo right, everyone, Dan Central here and uh, welcome to a new collection video. Um, this is going to be a collection video of an absolute legend who if anyone from the Retro Unlim shows that I've been involved with or know of this are watching, they'll probably find this quite funny and hopefully quite interesting. Um, and that is basically a, a collection of my Lee Evans stuff. Now apparently my lookalike is apparently Lee Evans. I, I don't know, some of you may go Oh yeah, he does and all. And others may go, really? No. How does he look like Lee Evans? I don't think so. Um, so I don't know. Either way, I, 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 I just don't know. It's just what I've been told. Uh, but if I do, what better legend than Lee Evans to really be linked to? I think that's great. That's a good thing for me. I'm a huge fan. So um, yeah, I think that's brilliant if that's the, if that's the case. So anyway, I did this collection um, a good few years ago now, I think, but I've obviously added stuff since then. He's done new tours as well since then and stuff that I've obtained new stuff from. So I uh, just thought I would show it, really. Uh, I am looking to sell some of the videos um, as ideally a big bulk as a job lot. So if any of you are interested, I'll show them all in a minute. Um, do let me know. You can PM me on, on YouTube or uh, you can always Facebook me on uh, facebook.com slash Gaming. I'll just send me a comment and uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah, I basically want to get rid of the videos to save on space. And also I want to save up for the big DVD box set that they released a little while ago with all the DVDs of the tours. And so I can replace a lot of the videos with, with DVDs to save on space and stuff. So yeah, let me know if any of you are interested and you know, we'll see if we can sort something out. So let's basically just jump straight in then, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the collection, guys. And uh, if you are also a Lee Evans fan and you've got a collection, Please feel free to, you know, post a video response or link me out to a video of you doing it. Or even just, if you want to post a comment instead, that's fine too. Uh, but I'd love for you guys to get involved and interact. It'd be great. I mean, I did a, a Philips CDI collection a little while ago. And one of my uh, great friends, Footloose2005, no, I think it is, who had been subscribed to me for pretty much the beginning, he then did a Philips CDI collection in response to mine and mentioned me which is really really nice of him and it's, I love people that do that so I'd love for you guys to do the same if you've got a Lee Evans collection um, so without further ado let's jump straight into the, uh, the the collection itself so the first thing I'm going to show then um, is basically a TV series he did um, with some funny sketches uh, that's called the world of Lee Evans same world different planet now obviously it first came out on VHS um, and uh, it was in 1995 and uh, obviously on the front you can see he's upside down in a fish tank with a fish uh, swimming past him because that's actually part of one of the sketches in the show uh, he doesn't say a lot in the episodes actually he's very quiet which actually is quite quite funny still because visually uh, it actually heightens it in places um, and makes it still quite humorous and you have to kind of watch it to see what I mean um, so that's obviously the VHS and if I open it up obviously we've got the the VHS there, and on the back as well, on the inner sleeve, sorry, it's actually got some other things that were out at the time, like Brookside when it was still in fashion, and a few other things there that I actually don't really know anything about or really uh, have heard of. But but yeah, great VHS though, nonetheless. And then a good few years later, in uh, 2006, so a, well, a lot of years later, they then re released it on DVD. Um, and they actually added an extra episode to the DVD that's not on the VHS uh, and it's actually this episode here where he's in the car with um, actually the actor that played Kevin Wicks in EastEnders who was married to Denise and then he got killed he's actually the other guy that's in the episode with Lee uh, and it's an extra episode to the DVD that was like, like I said wasn't in the VHS um, so great DVD in general really really nice um, and uh, yeah um, great, great to own, really. Um, so obviously I'd therefore be looking to, to sell the VHS because the DVD um, takes up less space and um, it's got everything on there that the VHS has. So that's the world of Lee Evans. From there, we're then moving on to his tours, of course, the you know what Lee Evans is all about, really. Uh, his stand-up um, genius. So first one we've got then is uh, Lee Evans Live at Her Majesty's Theatre. This is the first one that he released when he was still doing the theatres. Um, here is on the back as well. Um, this was 1994 and it's a great um, show. It's a great tour. Um, very, very funny. Um, and um, this is when he was still um, trying his stuff out and was still um, an up-and-coming comic at the time. 
From there, we then had uh, the release of Lee Evans' Life from the West End, which was 1995. Also includes his uh, Bohemian Rhapsody routine that he made up, which is very, very funny, very, very unique, and uh, just works really, really well. Uh, and again, on the back, <laughs> there's him being really silly. Um, and again, VHS there too. Uh, but again, another great tour um, that he did. And it was also featured his joke that he did about um, uh, fast food restaurants when he talked about burger. Do you want a burger? 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 It's that one. If you if you remember that one, it's on that one. Um, from here, we then had Lee Evans Live, Different Planet Tour in 1996. Uh, this is one of the funniest tours I actually own and that I've ever seen, in my opinion. Uh, one of the funniest bits that I think, uh, that I actually love, is right at the beginning, where he walks down these stairs, like pop-up stairs, if you like, and he gets he's walking down them, and right in the middle, as he's walking down, he falls through them, and has to kind of crawl back out again. Um, so already from the off, he's already being funny. So, uh, yeah, I actually changed the video case of this as well, because when I got it off eBay, it came in a really chewed up, quite horrible case, so I just changed it. Um, so there you go. Different Planet Tour. This also features the joke where he talks about um, where he's on the plane and he's, he's shouting for a stewardess and he's saying, my kidney's just gone down that how? It's that one. Very, very good. You have to watch it if you haven't seen it and if you do, I'm sure you know what I mean. Awesome. From there, we then had a release of Lee Evans Live, The Ultimate Experience. Now, this is basically a really good idea. I'm really glad they did this. Uh, all they've done is basically taken the best bits from um, Live at Her Majesty's Theatre tour, Live from the West End tour, and uh, a Different Planet tour, and basically taken the best bits of all three tours, mishmashed them together, and put them in this ultimate experience on the one video. So it kind of pans into one tour for a bit, so you can see some funny jokes. Then it zooms out, then it pans into the next one, zooms out, pans into the other one, and then you just basically get a, a mixture of the three different tours. Um, and actually, if you look on the back, it actually lists them there anyway, and says that it features um, footage from all three uh, and it also yeah also shows previously unreleased material. Ooh, so there you go, some extra on there as well. Um, but yeah, great idea. Um, and obviously the VHS is there as well. I believe this is also on DVD, so I'd look to replace this as well at some point. And again, there's some other DVDs that it advertises there, like Jack D's tour, um, Harry Enfield, Lee Hurst, um, Eddie Izzard, Mark Lamar, etc. etc. And also actually, fun enough has Bottom as well, who obviously the uh, um, the actor Rick Mao um, uh, comic sadly passed away um, not too long ago. Um, right, from there we then had Lee Evans Live in Scotland. Now this was 1998 and uh, it's a great one. It also features the Lee Evans Trio. For those of you that know what that is, that's where Lee Evans basically pretends to play um, different instruments in an orchestra and it's very very clever the timing on it's great and it's just very creative now on the front you can get this without the hologram as well but I've got the one that's got it and basically the idea is that when you move it obviously you can see Lee Evans is jumping around there so uh, very very cool uh, great tour and uh, obviously VHS is there as well uh, right from there is the last VHS that I own in terms of a tour that he did and that's the Lee Evans Live at Wembley tour, Wired and Wonderful. Um, this is again when he starts to hit arenas. Um, the tours are a lot longer now as well. So you see more of him. Uh, he plays the piano at the end as well because he's a fantastic musician as well as a stand-up. Um, which again makes him really unique. And uh, it's again a great tour uh, in general. Um, now, if any of you are interested in any of these VHSs, now, ideally, I want to sell them as a one big job lot so that I can just get them shifted as opposed to having to worry about, you know, postage on separate VHSs. Um, but if I can do this properly, I probably won't be able to do it very well because um, there's so many of them here. But if any of you are... Uh, it's not going to work. <laughs> ...are interested in ideally buying all of these, so The World of Lee Evans, Live at Her Majesty's Theatre, Life in the West End, Different Planet Tour, The Ultimate Experience, Live in Scotland and Live at Wembley, um, please do let me know. Feel free to send me a message on YouTube or on my Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash dancentralgaming, or my other one is facebook.com slash gaming369. Um, send me a message and I'll um, see what I can do, see if we can sort something out. Um, if not, I might just put them back on eBay because I've had them on eBay in the past, um, so I might just put them back up again um, if I don't get much joy from from here. But that's all the VHS is, and uh, again, let me know what you think of the collection as well in general. Now, we're now hitting DVDs, 
um, we're not actually hitting DVDs. It's really quite r rubbish. Um, anyway, um, we were going to show DVD. So the next tour we had was, of course, Lee Evans' Excel tour in 2005. Um, did I say his Wembley one was 2002? I can't remember if I said that or not. Um, but anyway, Lee Evans' Excel tour was 2005. Um, this was, I believe, at the O2. Uh, or was it? No, it wasn't. It was Cardiff. Sorry, it was, I think this one was, was, was filmed in Cardiff. Yeah, it must. Yeah, it is. It's Cardiff. Sorry. I thought it was 02. No, it's, um, it performed in Cardiff. Um, and uh, um, again, it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, there he is on the piano in the middle. Um, and uh, again, you've got the DVD in there, obviously, as well. Uh, now, what I did do with the uh, Excel Live Tour as well is I actually went and bought the CD. Because he's re they, they released a few CDs of his stuff as well, which again, if you're uh, on, going on a long journey, you're getting bored, or if you're stuck in traffic and you're miserable, this is basically going to lift your spirits and just make the journey a bit more bearable um, because it is just so funny. And obviously, the CDs inside, you've got some more releases there as well that he released. Uh, and again, it's two CDs, so it opens out to another CD. Uh, actually, on the inside of the actual inlay, you've got again part of his um, tour where he's got pictures of him there, which is really, really nice touch. And uh, yeah, just having it on CD, I think, is a great idea as well, because you can just basically take it portable with you, listen to it on your stereo, on your CD player in the car. Um, so there's a DVD and the CD. From there, obviously, then we moved on to his big tour, Live at the O2, which is still showing a lot, as well as his uh, Excel tour on the channel Comedy Central. Uh, and there it is there, the Evans, and obviously he's swimming there. And there's a lot of bubbles there with him in. So that's really cool. This was 2008, and there you go. And on behind the DVD, you've actually got um, uh, a big wide shot of um, all the audience and then him on stage. Sweet. And then I had to, I just had to get the CD of that one as well. <laughs> so I did. Lee Evans, big, live at the O2. Again, fantastic to take portable with you. Sorry about all the glare. I keep getting the laptop in there. It's not good at all. Um, sorry, I can't really focus on that. But yeah, and obviously on the inside, again, two CDs. Uh, and again, on the inside of this one, you've got, again, another wide shot of the actual show. So again, great to take portable with um, on a CD as well. From there, uh, we then had a DVD release, a bit like The Ultimate Experience, but this was called Lee Evans Access All Areas. It features the very best uh, material from his 2002, 2005 and 2008 Arena DVDs, which means basically his Wembley, his XL Tour Live and his Big Tours, uh, all in one DVD. So again, a bit like The Ultimate Experience. Um, so there's all three. You've got Live at Wembley, you've got XL Tour and you've got the Big Tour. So again, another great uh, thing to do there. If you've not got the DVDs of the three tours separately, you can see the best stuff in just the one DVD. From there, we then obviously move on to one of his most recent tours, and that was his Roadrunner Live at the O2 tour, um, which I saw this live up close and personal, and I absolutely loved it. It was absolutely hilarious. I'd never laughed that much when I've been out seeing something live as much as I did there. Um, I just couldn't breathe at times. It was that funny. It was. I was. It was. I was my sides were hurting. Uh, I was laughing so hard, um, and it was just such a great experience to see him live. In my experience, if you're a huge fan, you've got to go and see him live before you can properly say you've experienced it. Because um, the DVDs are fantastic, but if you don't see him live, you can't really say, in my opinion, you've really, really experienced the full, the full whack, if you like. Um, so a great tour, and very privileged to be able to say that I saw it live at um, the O2 in London uh, and to prove that I saw it live as well because obviously if you go and see it live you're going to pick one up anyway here's I've got the Lee Evans Roadrunner Tour 2011 official tour programme on the back there's <laughs> a funny picture of him there do I really look like him? do I really look like him? I don't know, you tell me oh for heaven's sake now it starts raining brilliant Hope you can still hear me. Thanks, Rain, you selfish bastard. Right, I've just cut into the video there. Um, I was going a bit mad because um, it started raining. But uh, 
yeah, the um, reason I've just jumped into this video because the footage that you've just been watching, um, is my dog, that you've just been watching, um, was actually done months ago. Um, the reason why um, I've not edited that footage together and put the video up and I've left it kind of um, sitting um, in my software package um, is because I knew that Lee Evans was doing obviously another tour and I just thought to make the video, you know, fully complete. Um, Apologies, just got a text. Um, it's throwing me off guard now. Um, yeah, um, to make it fully complete, I thought I would um, include this as well, rather than, you know, doing it without it and then having to add it in at a later date on a separate video. Um, I just thought, do the whole thing as one. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a long video, but uh, when you're that passionate about, you know, a certain thing and uh, you're a big fan of, you know, um, a person or whatever, um, you do sort of go, go a bit overboard, I suppose. Um, so yeah, um, I was basically showing um, the Lee Evans Roadrunner program um, before, and before it started raining months and months ago. Um, but before that, I just want to correct something I said earlier. I did show the Lee Evans Accessible Arenas DVD a little while ago, but I said areas um, by mistake. Um, don't know why. I just wasn't thinking about what I was saying. Um, so I meant to say access all arenas, hence what it's called, um, but ended up saying areas instead. So um, yeah, that was my mistake. Uh, I meant to say arenas. So yeah, Lee Evans' is Roadrunner Tour. I'm very lucky to have this. Uh, obviously you just saw that just a second ago. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, all the pages are pretty much full of full of him um, being, being his, his usual jokey self. Uh, you've got... Um, some advertising of his book there, which I'll show in a minute. Um, some of the microphone. Pretty cool. I don't think he quite ever really realised how big, you know, he was going to become as a comedian. So he he deserves it, you know, wholeheartedly, really. Oh, go away, people. Try and do a video here. I lead a very hectic life, in case you didn't know. So, um, yeah. There you go, some other um, merchandise there. You can create your own. Now my phone's going off. I'm going to have to cut it there. And we'll be back. Right, apologies about that. So, yes, you can create your own poster which is always a good thing as well. And it's cool as well, because you can actually have it in red, yeah. which the tour and the, you know, the program's all blue, you can have it in red as well. So yeah, great read as well, because I have read it. And you know, if you don't know a lot about his history, um, you can find out more about him and uh, see how far he's come really. And there's most of his releases there. And this one, uh, down here is the thing that I want is the actual DVD box set that I want to save up for to replace the videos with because it's got them all in there. So yeah, and that's a little bit about Comedy Central, which show a lot of his tours on there as well, so you can catch it on TV. So that is his program. Now this is oh, and there's a DVD that goes with it. Da Ding. Um. Now this is the main reason why I've let this video sit um, in my software for so long and not actually edited much of it or even uploaded it yet because I wanted to add this in. Uh, and at the time of recording obviously I hadn't um, got hold of it, it hadn't been released and that kind of thing. Now his most recent tour, um, and I'm really really happy to be able to include this in this video and it was definitely worth the wait um, rather than uploading it and then having to do this later, was obviously his most recent tour was Monsters. Now, like Road Runner, I was very privileged to have been able to see this one live as well. Um, so, therefore, I do, of course, have the programme. So, a bit like his Road Runner tour, I have his Monsters tour programme. Um, this is awesome. Another great read. Um, you got a cool, like, cartoony kind of uh, animated face of his on there. Um, and uh, I went and saw this at the O2, even though the DVD's been filmed in Birmingham, um, 
went and saw it at the O2, and uh, again, just like Roadrunner, it was um, side-splittingly funny. Um, if you open it up, it actually advertises um, a game that he's had done on the um, uh, iOS, Android, or whatever you want to call it, uh, as an app called um, Five Minutes Mr. Evans. So basically, he's got five minutes to get to his show, and um, you have to basically uh, get in there um, within that time. Uh, I've not played it much yet, um, but um, I'm not great at it. Um, but uh, I don't know if you can see, you probably won't be able to see very well. But there's him kind of running down the, the road. You have to basically, well, I messed it up because I can't see it when I'm doing it around that way. But you basically have to have him, you swipe it up with your thumb, and then he runs over, he jumps over things. So if you look here, yeah. this is why I messed it up. Oh, I <laughs> messed it up again. One more go, one more go. It gets a bit addictive as well. And when you're a fan of his as well, it's pretty cool. Right, come on down. Come on down central. You're going to do it this time. Yay, I did it. Oh, I can't do this back to front. Oh, no, that one, you have to go down. You have to go down. I couldn't see the arrow very well because it's reflected. Should we go once more? Should we go once more? Come on, come on down. Come on down central, let's do this. Let's get the evidence to a show. Yes. Yes. But right, this time you want to go down. Hey. Yeah. And then he moves over to the. Oh, it's that way. It's because it's flipped. My left is your right kind of thing. So there we go, really. It's really addictive, really, really fun. Um, and it borrows concepts from other games that you've probably played before, like the whole dodging stuff. Um, but it's very addictive. Right, let's do it. That way, that way. That's it. That's it, I did it. So he goes that way. And then he goes that way. And he goes that way. And then that way. And there's cars and stuff, and then your cars start appearing and things. So, um, very addictive. Um, I think there's three levels of difficulty. You can um, scramble, you can run, and there's another one as well on there. So there's the actual main screen. It's only 69p, so get it. It's only 69p. Uh, yeah, there you go. You can jog, scramble, or you can leg it. I think you have to unlock scramble and leg it, though. I think you have to play through jog first, and then you can unlock scramble and leg it later. And the music is just, you know, typical music for, um, you know, Lee Evans as well. Uh, I think it's the music they used on um, Sweatiest... What was it? Chimpiest Sweatiest, is that his name? Um, when he did the an they did the animation um, on the um, Roadrunner tour, um, I think. Anyway, moving on. So this is a proper long video, but uh, you don't have to watch it all. You don't have to watch it all. His Monsters tour was wicked. It really was. It was so good. Was so good. I love the fact that each letter of monsters has got Lee Evans over it. So, um, I mean, these programs, yeah, n normally you sort of have to go and see the tours in life to get them, but I'm sure they, I'm sure I've seen them on eBay as well if you wanted to pick up a copy if you didn't go and see them live. Because um, they are a great read. They really are a great read. Um, there you go again. We're getting to the end of the word monsters. There's your E. Uh, and then advertising the DVD, and uh, and there you go. And this is obviously um, his former tour manager, um, Addison Creswell, who sadly passed away last year. Um, which you know Lee, you know, has sort of said that it's never been the same since. Um, but uh, yeah, and it's also one of the reasons why, which I was going to say in a minute, I found out today. He's retiring from comedy. He's actually retiring from comedy. Um, he's going to be mentioning it on Jonathan Ross this Saturday um, when he goes on. Apparently, that he's going to be retiring because he wants not only because of the of the passing of his previous tour manager, but also he wants to spend more time with his wife and daughter Mo as well. Which again, you can totally understand because he's, he's you might only go and see him live once, but just remember he's doing that same show over and over. You know for several several nights throughout the year so it's a lot for him to take on really 
Um, so yeah, and obviously, da da da, there's your DVD to accompany it. Um, so again, you got that too. They they decided to film the DVD in Birmingham, um, even though I did see it at the O2. Um, so it's great to see this tour on the O2 stage, uh, even though this is filmed in Birmingham. I've got personal experience from seeing it on the O2 stage. Um, and again, it was just it was just so good. It's got a really cool cardboard sleeve that you can take off. Uh, I was going to get it on Blu-ray, but they always release the Blu-ray version a week after the DVD release, and I couldn't bother to wait. <laughs> I just wanted it. I don't know why they can't just release you know the Blu-ray and the DVD version together. It's like I was going to get Roadrunner on Blu-ray, but then I couldn't bother to wait the extra week. Um, so that's why I've got them I'm all on DVD. And also, obviously, Blu-ray, the spines are a bit smaller, and if you put them along next to each other on the shelf, you know, you'll get different heights in spine. They look a bit bizarre, whereas at least the DVDs, they all kind of level out at the top. So I suppose it's just a, I don't know, personal thing, I guess. But there we go, Monsters. Now I got that into this video. Boom. So I now have every single tour that you ever did, either on VHS or DVD. Um, so, yeah, love this video. A uh, video? Love this DVD. So, so, so. Pick it up. If you didn't go and see them live especially, or even if you did, go and pick up the DVD. Do it. You'll be on the floor. Right, so let's just quickly finish off this video, because um, I don't want it to be too much longer. Uh, it's probably going to be about half an hour, to be fair. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to put it into parts, and I've got, I've got a lot of stuff to show, basically. So if you don't want to, obviously, um, watch it all, you don't have to. Right, Lee Evans, So What Now? He, this is a, a TV series he did for the BBC, um, and this was um, back in 2001. It was originally broadcast from the 30th of April 2001 to the 22nd of May 2001. Uh, I've got it on VHS as well as DVD. On the VHS, it's like a massive box, um, so it's a bit big and bulky, which is another reason why I want to sell you know, the videos. Um, it says series one, sort of giving you the sort of the um, suggestion that there was going to be a series two, um, but there wasn't. Uh, there's was only one series. I love the way I did that. It wasn't. Um, so yeah, you've got series one, volume one, and series uh, one, volume two. And again, you know, um, got him on the back there. He stars with um, Sophie Thompson, who um, played Stella in. Um, uh, EastEnders, who was abusing Ben Mitchell a um, good few years ago now. Um, and he also uh, plays alongside another bloke who's really funny, um, Stephen O'Donnell, as well. So, great TV series, and the um, outtakes at the end are uh, just hilarious. You can get them all on um, YouTube as well, both the episodes and the um, uh, outtakes. Um, they are very good. You know, when he wasn't filming properly, he definitely went all out to make us laugh, even when it wasn't actually filming properly. Uh, and then again, I picked up on DVD as well because it's a lot thinner. Um, it's just a lot more manageable, really. Um, there's um, obviously the outtakes are all on there as well. You haven't got to fast forward to the end of each, you know, video tape to see the outtakes. You can just select them from obviously from the DVD menu. Um, and yeah, because I've got it on DVD especially, I don't see the reason of having to get, having to um, keep, the, the, keep the videos. Right, from there, um, there's a film st that starred Jackie Chan um, and starred um, Cl uh, Claire Forlani, but also, top, top of the video, there's Lee Evans was in it as well. Um, so, very funny, just to see Lee Evans in an action film with a gun, um, you can imagine how that's going to pan out. Um, yeah, because he's, he's had a great acting career as well, Lee Evans, as well as stand-up. Um, so, you know, he does feature in quite a few films, um, which I think is brilliant. Um, so he did kind of dabble in a bit of that as well. Um, and he was great. Um, even this one here when he's with Jackie Chan. It's quite funny. So, yeah, if you haven't seen The Medallion and you like Jackie Chan or action movies, to see Lee Evans put a comedy spin on it is just absolutely genius. Another comedy film, which is one of my favourite films of all time, because especially if you like to Gimme 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 and you're a fan of Kathy Burke anyway, the fact that they've joined forces, Lee Evans and Kathy Burke, in this film, and it's, it's British, it's a British film as well. It's for, it was actually filmed in Hatfield, um, which again, it isn't miles away from where I live, um, is um, really good as well, The Galleria, which a lot of people have heard of. Uh, also stars Linda Bassett, and she's very funny in it too. 
and that is, of course, The Martins. Um, very, very, very good film. Very good film. Yeah, he's one of the lead characters in this. So, um, yeah, fantastic film. And with Kathy Burke, they just they were just a absolute, pff, yeah, genius partnership in this, really. Now, another one that he was in that I don't think it was actually advertised that much. Really. I think it was quite an underground film. Not many people were aware of it. If you say Lee Evans to people, the first thing that springs to their mind is his stand-up tours. Mm, possibly The Martins, because it's quite a good, it's quite a good, uh, well-known film. Um, but n not probably this one. This was a film called Freeze Frame that he did. He had to shave all his hair off to do it because it was um, filmed in a prison. Um, and basically he's, be he's been um, framed for a crime he didn't commit and he has to prove his innocence. Um, and yeah, it's just a very, very sinister film. It kind of messes with your head a little bit. Um, and he just plays the character really, really, really well. Um, and it's something you would never have expected Lee Evans to do. You always expect him to be, you know, jumping around on stage like an idiot and doing comedy stuff and, and really kind of upbeat, positive things. And then suddenly he, he switches and does this kind of underground film that's quite dark and twisted, um, which you don't expect from him. But it works really, really well. And I'm surprised he even found the time in, in his hectic schedule to do quite a few films, even one that's quite different as well. Um, so, yeah, very, very uh, well constructed. And uh, if you like your chillers and stuff, that kind of psychological stuff, then uh, give it a watch because you know he does play a part that you wouldn't expect him to do, and yeah, he pulls it off really well though, regardless. Right, we've come to the final thing. <sighs> Am I a fan or what? Love it. Right, last thing. His book. Everything you really need to know about him is in here. Um, I've read about half of it um, because I do have a really busy schedule myself. Um, but it's just a great read, just to see where he came from um, and see where he's from there to where he is now. And, you know, the the amount of hard work and effort he had to put in and, you know, he's booed off stage a lot in the in the beginning and stuff. And uh, yet yeah, he still persevered, driving, you know, throughout the night on really long journeys for not really any money, really. He would drive just miles and miles and miles to play venues just to get himself known and out there, not really getting paid for it. But yet he'd put in the effort and he would go and do that. And he, and he would put up with a lot of stick. He'd drive for so long, be absolutely you know, knackered when he got there. And then only to get up on stage and just be like ridiculed anyway. Uh, but yet he persevered and, you know, he is where he is now. And, you know, all, you know full credit to him. Full credit to him. And his, his life story is so fascinating. It really, really is. You know, from going, coming from, you know, somewhere where he didn't really have much, um, you know, and, and having to really work hard at, you know, what he's got. You know, he's, yeah, he's an inspiration. This bloke here is an inspiration. And finally, this is finally, 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 although I don't have these on DVD release or VHS, obviously Lee Evans has starred in other films as well that obviously a lot of you know already that I've not yet already mentioned, which I feel I just need to quickly mention because they were a part of obviously his acting career. And that's obviously Funny Bones, um, Mouse Hunt, which is just an absolutely hilarious film. Um, there's something about Mary, where he starred as Tucker on Crutches, and he starred alongside Cameron Diaz and Ben Stiller. Um, the, fifth, the Fifth Element, he, he was in as well. Uh, the Ladies' Man, um, and also a film called Undertaking Betty. He was also in, uh, I believe it was A History of Mr. Polly, um, and he was also in The Producers in the West End. Um, he also provided the voice for Zippo in the 2002 TV mini miniseries Dinotopia. Um, and he also provided the voice for Train in the 2005 film The Magic Roundabout, which was the remake. Um, and he also starred on the Channel 4 late night show Viva Cabaret, both as a host and as a guest performer. Um, and do, 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 um, just having a look here. He also appeared in Samuel Beckett's Endgame, um, and also in the 50th anniversary production of The Dumbwaiter. And also, in terms of him being a musician, he can play the guitar, the bass guitar, the electronic keyboard, and the piano, which is just right up my street, the mandolin, the ukulele, and the drums. He's also obviously got his own production company. Um, which is also called Little Mo Films after his daughter. Um, and he's also, also, he starred as a Welsh scientist in the 2009 Doctor Who Easter special Planet of the Dead. 
And since September 2013, which actually he did mention this on um, uh, Jonathan Ross a while back, he's also been starring in the play Barking in Essex um, at the London uh, Wyndham's Theatre. So, um, you know, that's a lot to add as well. I just thought I'd just get in there quickly. Um, and uh, obviously now he's announced that he's going to be retiring from comedy. So, yeah, whether or not that's stand-up solely or whether it's everything, um, whether that includes like plays and, and acting and stuff, who knows? Um, but uh, yeah, um, he's definitely going to be retiring. And if you watch uh, Jonathan Ross's uh, show uh, this Saturday evening, uh, he's going to be on there talking about it anyway. So I suppose we'll find out a bit more information then. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope that's been very informative. I hope you've liked the collection. It's been very extensive. I, I do realise this. Um, but you know, can't really help it um, when I'm just a <laughs> huge fan. Um, anyway so thanks very much for watching people um, and I'll be back very very soon thanks very much for watching